so my wife and I got two pack every time I go to the store to get Pokemon packs it's always two because Steph and I like to open packs together we we randomly pick one and we do a pack battle and Steph wins almost every single time. It's uncanny. And in this particular round, she did as well. So this is the pack of Fusion Strike that I opened. And this one had Mew on it. So I thought like, okay, it's got it's got to have like a Mew V, V Max, something like that, right? Here's what we got. We got a, a Klefki. And Klefki is, there's not really a lot to speak to. 10 damage, draw two cards. Really, you're supposed to evolve up. Not really a lot to say there. We got a Shroomish. Shroomish is very cute, but other than that, not really a lot going on there. Uh, the Grass Energy, we can get that out of here. Our our boy Choodle, of course, of, you know, before it gets to Dreadnought, that art is okay. But Choodle by itself, 2 energy, 30 damage, like, nah, that ain't it. <laughs> oh, a Gen 1 for everybody here. We've got Onyx. And the guard press 30 during your opponent's next turn. This Pokemon takes 30 less damage. Ah, it's not bad, especially with double turbo energy coming into the format once Brilliant Stars comes out. But really, Onyx isn't going to do a lot. Also, Meowth. Cute art there. Uh, one of the really popular cards right now in the current meta is a battle vip pass and this is a card that you can only use on your first turn but if you do you can search your deck for up to two basic pokemon and put them on your bench then shuffle your deck and a lot of decks have started incorporating this card particularly mu v max decks because it's so important to get as many pokemon as you can set up on the first turn because that in the with the speed of the game right now a lot of ge games are determined by how well you can set up on turn one and so a lot of cards or a lot of decks have been using battle vip pass even if it is a huge gamble uh we've got sydney right here if your opponents reveals their hand and you can discard up to two, any combination of yeah two pokemon tools special energy and stadium cards this is a pretty annoying card because you definitely want your tools special energy and stadiums but not that many people are running it at least at this point in time here is a a semi sage not really much going on here whip smash 72 energy not so bad but no one's gonna be playing <laughs> semi sage and then we the reverse hollow is a battle vip pass again I've got a full set of these now, so if I ever make a deck that has these, that's going to be great. And the rare... Gorbis. Not, not the best card. It evolves from Clan Pearl. You wouldn't use the attack, but it's got Rapid Strike Canceler on there. An interesting ability that shuts off Rapid Strike abilities. So stuff like Inteleon's quick shooting doesn't work. It's it's a it's an interesting card. I've seen a couple of people tech it in. You can use they they put one of the Gorbises in there to shut off Rapid Strike, and then they put in a Huntail, which makes single strike moves two energy more expensive to use. So you can kind of cover both of those those particular types of decks. All right, Steph's pack fire energy and we try it this way we've got the the minin super cute doing the splits there it's got call for family which is a interesting way to get it's an okay way to get a whole bunch of your pokemon out at once we've got a a pan seer with the surprise attack one for 30 plus oh if flip a coin it does nothing if it hit tails no we've got durant in here three for 70 and you know if it's fire it's now par your opponent's pokemon's fire it's now paralyzed no one's going to use this the durant that mills through your deck is a little more interesting definitely a cute card right here we've got jigglypuff with the move let's all roll out and if you're running this in the let's all roll out deck with blissey uh, jigglypuff can't get hit by v maxes interesting concept no one no one's really playing that deck though <laughs> we got another onyx and a, a new one for us zorark this is not the good zorark though that has the ability to swap out with a pokemon in the discard pile 
We've got a Copper Raja, which for a regular Pokemon at 190 HP is quite a bit. Although four energy, 160 damage, and it does 30 damage to itself. Not the best. It might be better once you get the double turbo energy. Ah, no, then it's only doing like 140. Nah. Um, Chili, Silen, and Cress. You can search your deck for up to three strike, po three fusion strike Pokemon. Put them in your hand. A uh, pretty handy card for fusion strike decks. The Reverse Hollow. Reverse Hollow Lapras. This one, it's big move. Three, two water, one colorless. Um, you have to put all the energy back in your hand, and then you can hit for a hundred damage on any Pokemon on the board. It's not great as a sniping attack, but if you put one water energy on there, for example, and then you just kind of let it sit on the bench, and then later on in the game you throw down some rapid strike energy and then have it snipe something at the end. It, it could be okay. And the last card, Steph hit big on this one. Crabominable V. And what makes this card really interesting is the move Destroyer Punch. It has nine, it does 90 damage plus 60 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. So if they've got 10 damage on there it's going to hit 90 plus 60 and it's pretty much if anything has any damage on it this is going to knock it out in one hit so really interesting card i have a couple of crabominables in in the tcg i've been kind of workshopping a deck with it i, I don't know if we're going to stream that one but uh, it's an interesting card nevertheless there you go those are two packs uh, of fusion strike What'd you, what'd you think of our, our haul? Good? Bad? Let me know.